everyone, today we're gonna be building a clothing store in Bloxburg. As you can see, we are once again on this plot. We have our bookstore over here and our coffee shop over here. And I am thinking of putting the clothing store maybe around here. I don't know how we're gonna end up connecting these to the clothing store. We might end up just removing this bench and continuing this path forward. I'm still not sure though. So I'm gonna leave everything as they are. For the clothing store aesthetic, I am thinking of keeping to this brick style, but I do have an idea. Since it's a clothing store, we're gonna have a lot of things on display, right? Because of that, realistically, you would want really big windows for your store because you want customers to pass by and like window shop. I think that's what it's called, window shopping, when you're like looking at stuff from the window. Ignore the fact that it says coffee, but this is actually kind of what I wanna do. I want it to be two stories and I want really tall windows like this. But for this little balcony area, that's a big no. It just doesn't make sense. Like it makes sense for a coffee shop to like sit up here, but not for a clothing store. I was thinking of placing the store in like this direction, but if we're gonna have this pathway like continue from here, wouldn't it be smart to have the display like this. I think I'm gonna create a bump out over here for the doors just to give the store a little bit more dimension. And I think I'm just gonna do two blocks over here as well. I'm thinking that our cashier is gonna be around here and we're gonna have like a bunch of clothing racks. We need an area to like try on clothes. I think this might be it. I think I'm gonna give it a bit of a bump like so. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, I like this now. They kind of look like bathroom stalls. So there is that. Actually, speaking of, should we create a staff bathroom? I think it could be a good idea. This is gonna be our staff bathroom. It's a really awkward bump. I really like how we have this marble floor on the exterior surrounding the building for both of these. And I do wanna continue that style over here. What I've been doing for these builds is around these types of corners, I've been curving it. It just looks better when it curves a little bit. I think the top floor is gonna be pretty small like this. I don't want there to be too many things. It could be like baby's clothes. Maybe we'll have like two cashiers, like one on the first floor and one on the second floor. I swear I've seen clothing stores with these overhangs. So like when you're window shopping and it's raining, you like stand over here and you don't get wet. Should we put plants up there? Would that look dumb? For the second story roof, I don't know if we're gonna do the same thing, but we could extend it. Now I'm gonna grab these modern windows and I'm gonna put a bunch everywhere because we want people to be window shopping. And we can also put them up here as well. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm just gonna grab this half fence and I'm gonna put it up here too because it's sort of a style that we've been continuing throughout this whole plot. The big decision, color palette. I really wanna do pastels. I just realized I didn't place any pillars. I think I'm gonna color this part of the roof completely white, but the inside part, I'm gonna make it grass and color it brown so we can put all the plants. Doing this glitchy thing where all the windows are. So I think if we like resize the windows or like put a basic shape, it'll fix it. I don't think I've done this before, but I wanna outline the corners of the interior with marble floor. And then for this center part, I wanna make it planks. I don't know if you guys noticed, but with the new update, we can't layer our floors automatically. I don't get why they did that because a lot of builders like me, we like to do automatic floors and then layer them because it just helps us build faster. But now if we wanna layer our floors, we have to do it manually like this. I personally don't agree with that part of the update. Entrance, changing rooms, staff bathroom, cashier one, and display items are gonna be in this area. Cashier two and baby display items. Now look at how dark it is in here. We need some light. But the question is, what kind of lights does a clothing store have? I don't know why I'm not thinking of anything. Maybe a backlit mirror in the changing room. I can definitely see that. I'm gonna place one there. Maybe the geometric chandelier. It still looks so dark in here. See, we've got three types of clothing racks and I don't know which one to go for. I'm always so used to seeing these clothing racks over here where you try on clothes. Cause like, let's say you don't like an item, then you just leave it here. I think I can use this clothing rack on the baby floor. Cause I mean, look at how small it is in comparison to this. It just feels like it's more like baby clothes. So yeah, we're left with the industrial one. Now all we gotta do is like recolor it. I really wanna lean into pastel. So we're gonna be using very soft colors. Should I put mirrors on the corners over here or should I put them all like on the wall? Ooh, I don't know if I should put them on the wall because I wanna display other things on the wall. Ooh, wait, this is actually perfect for a clothing store. Look at it. We can put like roll towels in here and pretend that they're like jeans and stuff. But what about sunglasses and accessories? Should I do like a design like this and place them in here? Does that look like it's too flashy? Maybe not actually, I kind of like it. I, I just shaped it into a heart. That's so cute. Time to put some accessories. Yes, and when I, whenever I say accessories, I mean the new sunglasses. Cause look at this, that is so cool. Maybe I can also put like perfumes. Although is, is a perfume an accessory? I don't think it is. Imagine having a seating area like this. I could have it here. Do you guys call it accessory or accessory? I've always heard people pronounce it differently, but I've always called it accessory. Now we're gonna move on over here. Like I said, I really wanna grab these horizontal cubby shelvings and we're gonna put roll towels inside and pretend that it's like tops and jeans and stuff. I think it's just gonna be recolored to be white like this. Or maybe we can do like random like pastel colors. It looks pretty good so far, but this violet really be popping out. I was also thinking that we could get these stack towels and literally just place them in here. Cause look at that, those look like jeans now. These are like blue jeans. These ones are gonna be like black jeans. The colorful cubbies is a really fun idea, but 
but because these like shirts and jeans are different colors as well, I feel like it clashes too much. So we are gonna make it white. I have no idea who's gonna be able to reach up here. We might have to add like a ladder or something. For the wall color, I did just settle on something random. So I am thinking of changing it. Maybe we can do pink on this wall, blue on this wall. But we could also have like a design on the wall. The overlapping circles design is kind of cool. How would it look on this wall? Oh, that's kind of nice. We do need to put something on this wall, but I kind of want to go into the changing rooms first. Maybe I could put these clothing racks on these counters. I know it looks a little silly, but I think I'm going to leave them up here. This is one of the most important parts of a clothing store. It's the changing room. Personally, I don't like to go into clothing stores that don't have changing rooms because I want to make sure that something fits. Is We're going to use curtains. In changing rooms, the curtains are always on the inside part, so that's what I'm going to do over here. Oh, I do not like how the curtains are kind of clipping into each other. I could fix that by making some of the curtains on the inside, some on the outside, and then there's no glitch. Oh yeah, and we've got this backlit mirror over here, which I do want to resize. There always needs to be a hook rack. Like, I, I don't think I've ever entered a changing room that doesn't have a hook rack. We're gonna use the new Ottoman. Ottoman. I'm sorry, I'm very bad at pronouncing it. I've always seen like random plastic hangers on the floor in these like changing rooms, so I'm gonna do the same. I was thinking maybe over here, it could be like a self-care corner or a makeup corner. And the reason I'm thinking of doing that is because some stores like H&M, they sell their own like beauty products and accessories and nail products. And I think it might be cool to have it over here too. I'm just gonna use the shelving again. And this time we're gonna put makeup products in here. Kind of tempted to like have a gap in between them. I wanna put something here. Maybe I could put like a vanity so like you can try on the makeup or something. We could put like contour makeup and everything. The hairspray doesn't fit. So maybe this place doesn't sell hairspray. I've been to a Primark in England and it's basically like a clothing store as well. Over there, you can buy like toiletry stuff. You can buy like old types of makeup, face masks, nail buffing blocks. Like you can buy all of that stuff from Primark. I have no clue if like Primark and Walmart are the same. I would wanna make like an American comparison, but I've, I've never been to America. I'm actually very excited to create this part because this is gonna be where the cashier goes to grab these bags and like pack your stuff away. I might just use like oak shelves and like resize them. I know that there's only like a few bags here, but the way I'm thinking of it is like every time they use a bag, they like grab one of these like ready-made ones and they put it back up here. I decided to recolor this roof and just make it all entirely white. Oh wait, why is this random pillar here? So in the end, we're not gonna end up putting plants here. I just feel like it'll be better. Plus we don't have to deal with the glitch anymore. I also added this concrete path that leads up to the store, which is really cool. I don't even know what to do for the baby floor. I don't know what to put. I mean, maybe I'll put like beds, but it's a clothing store. That's the issue. I think the best way I'm gonna try and get through this is by doing it really quickly. There's a baby and kids thing. So instead of an accessory corner, we could have like a kid's toy corner. I can definitely like see that. I'm gonna grab this hex shelf and I'm gonna do a little bit of a different design from our first floor. The pacifier is so tiny. We can sell like alphabet blocks. Should we have like a plushies corner up here? I can definitely put a plushies corner. I think I'm gonna put it over here. They are so cute. Oh wait, this one doesn't fit. But for the ones that don't fit, I can just put them up top. So that's the plushies corner. And I also put this huge teddy bear right here. What we can do is we'll put oak shelves and we'll get these rolled towels and we'll make them like really small. Can we resize it? Okay, the rolled towels don't resize, but I'm certain that the stack towels do resize. These could be like baby jeans or baby shirts. Oh, it's looking so repetitive because I'm copy pasting it. Oh, I think maybe the last thing I'm gonna try to do is make a shirt kind of similar to how we made a takeout cup. I think it would be fun for us to have like a very large shirt. We literally have a reference photo right here. If you do want to replicate this, what you need is five cubes, two concave straight, and then also two convex straight. I'm not sure if you need any game passes for this, but I'll just show you kind of how I did it. Two cubes for the sleeves, two cubes for like the collar area, and then one for the torso. Now I'm going to get concave straight and let me just kind of place it. So we're using these just to create a sort of collar like this. And then we use the convex to sort of outline where the shoulders are. If you got transform tool, you can just like raise this up. Oh, I should have made these a little shorter. <laughs> if you got transform tool, you can just bring that up. But if you don't, what you can do is get a cube and then you're going to put a carpet over the cube and now you can just delete these and now it's floating. So you don't need the transform tool to do this. I can't believe I actually made a clothing store. I really like the look of it, honestly. I have a feeling that we're just going to continue adding to this plot and we're going to have something like here. Anyways, let's enter our clothing store. I'm actually so excited. Welcome to the clothing store. I do not have a name for it. We have an accessories corner over here in the shape of a heart and you can also sit here if you're just like waiting for your friend to like shop or something. I don't know. You have multiple different colored clothing that you can look through and obviously we also have this. You've got like rolled shirts and jeans. Over here you can try on some shoes or well slippers. <laughs> I think it's cool to put this like ottoman here. I kind of imagine that you're like removing your shoes and then trying these ones on. I don't know. It feels cool. Wait, I just realized I forgot to do the bathroom. It's gonna literally take two seconds. Put a toilet. You put a sink. The last thing you need to put is a mirror and there's your toilet. We also have a little self-care area. The makeup over here is like try on makeup so it's already been opened but all of these products over here they're sealed. All the clothes that you like, you come over here 
here and you try them on, you put them on this rack. I tried to make it as realistic as possible. That's why I also put the coat hangers on the floor. If you don't like an item, I think you can also place it here or you can put it back. So the cashier is gonna take a bag from here and place it here and they're gonna wrap your things for you. You obviously gotta pay them and then you can just take the bag and you're done shopping. Moving on upstairs, this is the baby section. We have some toys. We also have some baby clothes, although yeah, they don't really look too tiny. <laughs> We're gonna pretend that they are baby clothes. These ones are definitely baby clothes because look at how tiny they are. And also we have a little plushies corner, which is so cute. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye.